Is that okay? Um, should we email you? Nice. I'm Andrew Kitchener. I'm the Principal Curator of Vertebrates at National Museum Scotland. And I'm here to answer your questions about monkeys and other primates. If you'd like to come and get the questions, I will hand these over to you. Right. Oh. <laughs> What is a monkey? Well, it depends what you mean by a monkey. In fact, there are two major groups of monkeys. There are the New World monkeys, which are found in Central and South America. And then there are the Old World monkeys, which are found in Africa, Southern Asia, and Southeast Asia, with just a toehold in Europe. And they both groups do look roughly similar. So both monkeys have long tails, but they have lots of other differences in their anatomy, which distinguish between them. So both the New World monkeys and the Old World monkeys, like ourselves, are primates. So are you wanting that back on and the next one, or is it just the next one? Do monkeys like bananas? Well, yes, of course they like bananas. We all like bananas. But bananas originally come from Southern Asia and Southeast Asia, mostly. Monkeys in Africa and South America never met a banana until humans started moving them around. Bananas are too soft and too sweet for primates, so most zoos certainly in the UK, have stopped feeding bananas to their monkeys because they're actually quite bad for them. They have nice, crunchy, juicy vegetables instead. So monkeys and other primates feed on a very wide variety of food, just like we do. So they feed on leaves and shoots and buds and fruits and insects and other invertebrates and even small mammals and birds' eggs and gum and bamboo and all kinds of foods. But some are specialists that will only feed on one or two things like fungi or bamboo, whereas others will eat a very broad range of foods. That list was right in the end of your time, wasn't it? <laughs> I, it just was popping into my head. <laughs> Where do monkeys live? Well, most monkeys and other primates live in tropical forests through the equatorial belt but in South America, Africa, and Asia. But there are some that occur in more temperate climates, uh, and some live in deserts or grasslands and so on. But Japanese macaques, for example, live in very cold temperate climates, and they often find them huddling down in hot springs to keep warm during the very cold winter. How do monkeys communicate? Well, monkeys and other primates communicate just like us. They use vocalizations. And some of those vocalizations have very specific meanings about whether they're being aggressive or whether they're being friendly, uh, whether they want to get to know you better, and so on. Um, they also have body language like us. I mean, they move their arms and the, their tails and so on around. And they may have special coloration of their fur and, and skin, which also acts as a, as a display to convey what they're trying to say. Uh, they also have facial expressions, again, like us. So it's very much what we do, but it's slightly different. I'm really looking forward to eating this banana. <laughs> so when did monkeys become Homo sapiens? Well, they didn't, because Homo sapiens evolved from apes, and monkeys did not form part of our direct ancestry. And so the monkeys and the apes actually diverged about 25 to 30 million years ago, whereas we diverged from our most recent ancestor with the chimpanzees and gorillas probably about six to nine million years ago. So monkeys didn't evolve into Homo sapiens. You can find out a lot more about monkeys and other primates in Monkeys, which runs at the National Museum of Scotland until November 2025. Right. Thank you. And then just say bye bye.